Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about a web challenge from the Cybersecurity Challenge Belgium. This is a Belgian CTF that I competed in uh, and in the finals I reached 5th place. So this challenge starts off with this website here and we can register and we can log in, make an account, which I've already done. So let's log in. We'll notice, okay, this is kind of like Twitter. Uh, we can create tweets on this website. So let's create a tweet. So we can say a text subscribe, a link, like, and then link text, uh, follow. Okay, so if we save that, we notice, okay, we have a tweet here. Subscribe text was put there. And then we have our link, and our link in the bottom left corner, you can see that it redirects to uh, tweets slash like. So that's what we supplied. Now that might get you wondering, what happens if we input a URL there? Will uh, somebody click it? Will we get? Uh, will we be able to redirect anybody to any URL we we have? So that's what I did. So that's the first step. I got my own IP address and put that as a link. I have a Python web server open here, so we can see any incoming requests. So let's add a new tweet, and we'll just put this as every field. And there we go. We now have this. If anybody clicks it, as you can see at the bottom, it will redirect to. Uh, my IP address. And we already already noticed that we have a request from an IP address. So this must be the admin or somebody on this website that clicked my link. So that's good. We know, okay, when we put a link there, somebody is going to click it. Now, well, with this with this link clicking, we might be able to, uh, we, we, don't, we can't really get much. But if we find a way to execute JavaScript, well, then we will get further. So one of the things you can try is uh, using JavaScript colon, to execute JavaScript in the href. So then what we will do in this case is we'll set the window location to be our IP address. So what this is going to do, this is also just going to redirect the user clicking it to our IP address. So let's try that. And if this works, then that verifies that we can run JavaScript code uh, as this person. So let's see what's if this uh, is going to work. At the top here, I have the Docker with the challenges up, so don't mind that. But we notice, okay, we get a request back, so that worked. So we can execute JavaScript as any user. So now, what do we want to do? Well, as this user, we might want to check out what tweets they've written that are maybe private for us. We might uh, want their cookies or stuff like that. So let's try to uh, get the, um, the page, a page from this user. So how are we going to do that? Well, we are going to again run JavaScript. We're going to fetch a resource and we're going to fetch this URL, um, which is the URL for the admin. Then this is going to return a promise. On that promise, we're going to say, okay, when it resolves, uh, give me the text, which is also going to return a promise. And then when that resolves, we're going to set the window location to be my IP address again, but then with this appended here. And what are we appending? We're appending X and X is the text and we're transforming that from uh, ASCII to Base64 uh, to make it easier for us because uh, this is a HTML page which, con which contains a lot of weird characters. So this might make it easier on us. So let's take this and test it out. Okay, so we created that. Let's see if that works. And we get a lot of base64 here. So let's copy all of that. Uh, we can quit the server and we can do, we can echo all of this and then base64 decode it. And that will give us the flag right here. So in one of the tweets of this user that clicked it, there was the flag. Now there's one last thing that I had, haven't explained very well, and that's why am I using web here instead of an IP address? Well, if I were to use an IP address here, it wouldn't work. And why is that? Well, the admin or the person that's clicking this is uh, using a different domain. So they're using web instead of the IP address. Now, what does that mean? That means that if I try to fetch this resource, uh, without the web and with an IP address, um, same origin policy would kick in and would say, okay, no, we're not going to make that request. So how did I find out that this user was uh, using web here and not uh, the IP address? Well, I found that out by uh, using Postbin and uh, 
when I got a request back from Postbin, so what I did in this case was I just put the, um, the URL here as a tweet, so the, so the person clicked it, and from their um, headers, I could see that they were referred by this URL, which contains this web uh, part. So that's how I, uh, how I knew that. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you back for another one. If you like this video, like it. If you uh, want to see more content, subscribe. And I hope to see you back for another one. Take care.